be reacting to Cartoon Fight Club, Captain Falcon versus Iron Fist. And this one, I'm worried. I am worried right now because the Iron Fist has been through way more adventures. They continued probably his adventures more than F-Zero. I mean, Nintendo, come on. If there's going to be a versus match of the characters that we want to win, you got to continue their series. Make them more stronger. But anyway, I am scared because Captain Falcon is one of my favorite characters. I mean, come on, we all love Captain Falcon. The dude's awesome. But I feel, but again, you remember what Amish Rewind said. It's not a popularity contest. So, yeah. But anyway, as always, make sure to check out the original video. We'll be right back here and watch it together. Okay? Okay. Amish Rewind. This episode of Cartoon Fight Club is sponsored by Jacked. Jacked is a free membership rewards program. That's right, you can earn awesome rewards simply by doing the things you already love doing. After you no, not really. I don't want to do it. You can earn points by downloading it's good that it's advertising, but I'm not interested. ...supported games, or watch videos and complete activities in the Earn section of the Jacked website or mobile app. Games like Minecraft, Roblox, Overwatch, Battlefield... Again, not interested. ...games that you probably already played right now without getting rewarded for it. More again so rewarded enough. As long as I get to play the game. Dot com by clicking the link below and let them know that Animation Rewind sent you. That's jack.com. So what are you waiting for? Click that link now. Oh, yeah, I understand. Animation Rewind presents Robin vs. Spider-Man SpongeBob vs. Aquaman Pharaohs vs. Disney Hercules Mickey Mouse vs. Spongebob, I mean, Mickey Mouse vs. Bugs Bunny, Mario vs. Luigi, Deadpool vs. Dante, MLG, YouTube Poop, Mean Free For All, Cartoon Fight Club! Welcome to the 102nd episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your yep. host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, as always... Looking forward to MLG vs. Team Creepypasta. But if you know how the game is played, I can see like those Nintendo characters right there with Kirby and Samus. Was animated by Ninten, and he's also got a gaming channel known as Retro Sanity. So uh -huh. enjoyed what you saw. Head on over yep, in ten. And subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a battle going fist to fist. And yep. not just any fist, the Iron Fist versus Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch. Now, Come on, let the fucking punch be your things to say first. And, um, what? What's going on? Just getting bad out there. Just getting bad. Lighten up the bad guy, baby doll. You know, there ain't nothing to matter with What? That. Sorry, I got off track. But, um, anyways, Captain Falcon's main cannon doesn't really have any fighting feats. So, in order to make this battle an actual yep. battle, I'm going to have to pull stuff from the comic book and anime that Captain Falcon was featured in. It Wait, what about... ...really make this thing a fight, because he's from a racing game. Wait, what about Smash Bros? So with all this being Wait a minute, what about the Smash Bros, Captain Falcon? Why aren't you using the Smash Bros one? Captain Falcon is from Nintendo's F-Zero series and... <sighs> Nintendo, why? Why do you have to make good terms about racing, Nintendo? This is a mysterious futuristic racer from the city of Port Town. He's also known he's as furry. a legendary... He's furry. He's furry, sick. Captain Falcon was once an officer in the Internova Police Force. Not much is known about his past life events. That's true. By the time he was 36, he has gained a reputation as being the best bounty hunters and racers in the galaxy. Yeah. For a human, Captain Falcon is one powerful man. He wields a combination of a fight suit and body armor, which helps assist himself against enemy attacks. Captain Falcon you really should have done more with F Zero than just racing, Nintendo. Here we talk about his signature move known as Bro Fist. Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> Okay, it's on my foot. I'm going to... Okay. Uh, Spongebob, you are not doing so well. Not exactly. That's amazing. Regular show? So beautiful. 
<laughs> Stop that makes me why. Warmer. Kisatsu Maji Shiri. Maji Naga. I'm not even going to explain about this one, actually. Warmer. Knife protection. Okay, just get on with it. You're just way off. <laughs> My God! Almost. Finally. That was so annoying. Bingo, ladies and gentlemen, meet the Falcon Punch. The Falcon Punch did originate from the 1999 Super Smash Bros. on the N64. Yeah. But it was adapted into the anime, and it's become an iconic part of Captain Falcon's character. Like that is awesome. Consist of Captain Falcon throwing a powerful flaming punch. The fist also launches out of Falcon Flame. The range of the Falcon Punch is kind of crazy. On some ends, it's good enough to knock. Out. On other ends, it's strong enough to light up an entire galaxy. Slow down, wankers. I said light up, not destroy. But Captain Falcon isn't just well, that's impressive. fisting. He can also do other things like race. Captain Falcon races in an F. Oh, so you gotta do his final smash. Blue Falcon. This vehicle is one of the most well rounded machines in the racing tour. The Blue Falcon is well balanced and sharply tuned. And Captain Falcon knows every inch of this vehicle and can make it perform as though it has the best range. Yeah. If any of his opponents are hit by the Blue Falcon, they will easily be launched into the air and will be struck at high speed. That's seas. true. Now, as cool as Captain Falcon is, he's by no means... That's true. For starters, the dude shouts out every attack he's about to perform, which makes him extremely predictable and extremely easy to block. Secondly, a lot of Captain Falcon's attacks are charged based, which means he's gonna have to give up a lot of time to prepare the power of each attack. That's gonna be a problem. Captain Falcon has a good variety of but he is one of the fastest characters in Smash. Falcon. However, he is human and does have his fair share of limits. From one fister to another, let's oh my God. the Iron Fist. At age 19, Daniel Keem, I mean Daniel Rand, was given the chance. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That was just bad timing right there, so. Fist. And spoiler alert, he got the powers. If you want to know how and why, it's simple. He was sent to battle a serpent known as Shaolo the Undying. And when he defeated this serpent, he plunged his hands into the heart of the beast and shone it with a quasi-mystical force titled the Iron Fist. So I take that back. It wasn't simple, but he did gain the powers. Yeah, but... The Iron Fist is a master martial artist. Don't know, don't know much about the guy, but I know he's going to be Captain Falcon. And even Wolverine. The and that worries me. He's also highly skilled at manipulating and concentrating key energy. He can use this to heal himself, perform yep. telepathic mind fusion, and upgrade his body to unnatural levels. The Iron Fist has a well, punch known as the Iron Fist Punch. And there's no this is not going to be surprising. Last statement because that wasn't a joke. With this punch, he can draw the superhuman energy that comes from the heart of the serpent and makes his fist super powerful and resistant to injury and pain. It's so powerful that he can punch through brick, rip through steel, he also gains complete control of his nervous systems and detains himself from pain. Oh my god. This... Stuff with the Iron Fist I feel really bad for Captain Falcon, I... but I don't blame him. I mostly blame Nintendo for not making, for not continuing that Zero series. If he uses it too often or too much, it can greatly tire himself out. Using the key force during combat as well can weaken the Iron Fist significantly. Overall, the Iron Fist is a highly skilled fighter, being able to stand still against the likes of Daredevil, Captain America, and even Wolverine. As powerful as he is, he is not immortal. He's human, and he uses key to help win many. His key does have many limits. And now. I really feel bad for Captain Falcon. This battle's going to take place in Mute City with no prep time. I really feel bad for Captain Falcon, ladies and gentlemen. No, I really feel like this is an unfair fight. Battle begins. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I know I get way too many times because it's bad timing. Bad, stupid, bad timing. I know it's getting annoying. But finally, no more, no, no more. 
people calling me or anything. Welcome! Well, welcome to Falcon. I know you're not going to win, but at least put up a good fight. Lucky Cat! <laughs> what the? Wait, why did I am show up in Smash? Again there. Okay, seriously. Wait, Captain America. Wait, are Spider Man? Uh, this trophy from Smash? This is. They're using a lot of reference in Smash Bros. Wait a minute, that's like outside help right there. I just have no idea what's going on right now. I never thought I'd see Spider-Man web Captain Falcon. What the heck? Wait, he won? Captain Falcon won? Oh my god! And it seems that Iron Fist was Falcon punched. Oh my god, my Captain Falcon won? Nintendo, I should have never have doubted you. I should have never have doubted you, Nintendo. Nintendo, I'm sorry. I should have never have doubted you. Now let's discuss why Captain Falcon beats Iron Fist. Both the Iron Fist and Captain Falcon are very similar in their physical fighting techniques and combat style. But Captain Falcon has two things that Iron Fist doesn't have. The first being the Blue Falcon and the Desensu Falcon Punch. Now, without the Blue Falcon, Captain Falcon already has a speed advantage over Iron Fist because he wow. makes him even faster. This machine also has a remote control feature so it could come in and hit Iron Fist without the Captain even driving it. <laughs> you know, I should have never had that Nintendo. Known as the Dinsensu Falcon Punch, or DFP for short. This punch was strong enough to do two crazy things. It created a blast that was nearly as wide as a whole galaxy, and it defeated the Black Shadow. The Black Shadow is a feared warmonger and king who can casually destroy continent-sized space citadels with his sheer force. But this punch did more than just obliterate the Black Shadow, it shattered him to pieces and it took Captain Falcon out himself. That's how powerful this punch was. Wow. The second thing it did was stretch a blast as wide as the galaxy. The average length of a galaxy is roughly 900... Okay, Nintendo, again, I should have never have doubted you. ...is because, again, the punch created a beam of energy that stretched the same distance. Take, for example, the light energy of our sun, which gives off at each second an estimate of 360 septillion watts of power. And that's just enough watts to light up our solar system for one second. The Captain Falcon gave off enough energy to to light up the galaxy. Now before the power scaling police come and arrest me, I am not stating that Captain Falcon is galaxy level. Put your guns oh. down, I'm innocent. Clearly watts of light and destructive force are two completely different things, but even light rays of this magnitude has its impact. The only point I was trying to make is you don't create this kind of energy out of thin air. This DFP punch does have its power. Now yep. let's take a look at the other end of the stick. The Iron Fist once lost a fight and almost died when facing the Black Panther. And the Black Panther was attacking the Iron Fist with far less magnitude and amplification than Captain Falcon's DFP Punch. Wow. Sure the DFP Punch was a suicide mission, but Falcon does not need to reach this peak of power to take out Iron Fist. 
The winner is Captain Falcon. Bang! I said I'm... I argue that this punch is an outlier because it comes from an anime. So if you want to see a rematch without the Captain Falcon anime included, all you gotta do is like this video. So just use Smash Bros. Captain Falcon. A rematch will be in production. Also, please comment down your own ideas for future episodes of Cartoon Fight Club. And stay tuned, because the next fighters are going to be revealed on the next episode. It's still weird how they use Smash Bros. reference. Club. Huh? What? Hero Brian. Who's he facing? What? Hero, Hero Brian versus Kara? I feel I don't have no idea who's gonna win this one. I mostly think Hero Brian. Kara versus Hero Brian. This one, I just. I have no idea who's gonna win this fight. I'm, to be honest, I'm mostly going with Hero Brian, but. I feel like that Kara can hold her own everything. I really feel like so. But dang, that was a that was a cool fight right there. I should have never doubted you, Nintendo. Okay, I was surprised right there. But anyway, I just can't wait for Kara versus Hero Brian. I really can't wait for that one. Like, I know it's out already, but anyway, I just wanted to get out my reaction and everything, but, and I can't wait to see that fight. Hero Brian and Kara. But anyway, gotta admit, they use a lot of Smash Bros. reference right there. Like that thing that makes you dizzy, the assist trophy, and I never thought I'd see Spider Man web Captain Falcon. That's new. But anyway, Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi GX, out.